Um, Lyric, Beast, and Blue Striker came all the way over from a two-hour drive schlep to Philly, or from Philly, rather, uh, to come back to Zeno. Let it be known, last week, Joel, top five in Philly, by the way, goes 0-2. <laughs> Wasn't he playing online? Yeah. Huh. But, I mean, it is, like, it's not the most, you know, crazy thing in the world. Yeah. It's just, like... We got a it, today's a new week, right? But it, and already this is a new new beast. Uh, yeah. But other player uh, KMX, not too familiar with them. Might have been a Wi-Fi player, uh, bruh. So they're a, wow. they're a Sonic player who's <laughs> actually been having some pretty good results lately. Hasn't haven't they been at Xenos online? Uh, yes, I believe they've been at some Xenos online. I think at other events also they've just been down throw an air well. into up air up air. And another thing too, which is pretty good for this commentary block, is I did used to play at PT for like a year and a half. Um, so, you know, I know I know some of the stuff this character can pull out. I know some of the cheese. Although, uh, speaking of cheese, we're not really seeing Zardy yet. This is a much more comfortable matchup because Ivy has the Razor Leaf, you know? Best projectile out of the three. It's just the fact that Sonic cannot always kill and Zard is so, so, so heavy. Yeah, and doesn't Beast have a Notorious Zard? Yeah, it's his best mod for free. He actually made a whole combo video with uh, Charizard. And, and wow, okay. five minutes and 45 seconds so far. Oh, oh, wow. That gets the re-grab. I actually didn't know that was a combo down throw reverse there. That was that was really cool. Well, he reverses it until he gets the sweet spot. Exactly, yeah. And he also makes it true because the, the Nair will start from behind him. Very interesting there. Uh, so, yeah. A masterful Ooh. Charizard, if you will. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. This should be a down throw, flare blitz. Looking for the, he's looking for the the tech there on the platform. Oh yeah, obviously. Oh, <laughs> this is might be it right here. I don't say obviously, but you know. yeah, no, it's okay. That's okay. We, now we it's learn. obviously we it's obvious once you obvious it out. now. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -oh. Is that it? Yeah. Bad. You Sheesh. notice how he waited like an extra half of half a second to find the air dodge and see it, and yeah. then kill him. <laughs> That's, that's the sort of thing where, especially when you're up by that much and you know your opponent is super duper scared. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Charizard also just puts the fear in you, bro. Oh yeah. So Straight like, you know, back airs and... Boom! Yeah, also, I think <laughs> at that point he was forced to air dodge and maybe he could have gone was. lower and air dodged yeah. up. Exactly. Is it could, well, Even actually, then, he could like, have recovered then, right? Another fun th fact about Charizard, which is not that fun, is... <laughs> F F it's not fun, I say, because F-Smash two frames. That's... That is It's fun. weird, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Yeah, can't believe he just ran up and outbeat him like that. Yeah, we didn't really see much Squirtle in the last game. Uh, like, at the very beginning, there was a little bit of exchange going on, but I think most of the damage... Ivysaur, yeah. Yeah, it was as Charizard. soon as the R Ivysaur came out, that was when Kamek started to really struggle. Nice reaction. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the three Pokemon do work as a team. Uh, Squirtle, Little Masher, Ivysaur, a um, little more of a, you know, kind of a projectile-based Mon. And... Uh, Zard just be killing you. So, uh, the real mastery of the character comes when using all of them. Oh, yeah. Granted, for but a player like, uh, you know, Joel, he prefers the one, and that's okay. This yeah. character can be played in so many ways. The other thing is that, like, it's important to recognize when one of your team is just not doing, you know, just they're Enough. not going to be up to stuff, you know? It's just like, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll save you for later, but exactly. you're not really going to be carrying me in this matchup. So, I don't yeah. uh, you know, I'll, I'll, you'll come up when you're needed, but for the most part. If anything, to stay in the Pokeball, like back yeah. in the ball. <laughs> we're at a, you're at a type disadvantage if we're going by Pokemon terms. <laughs> Sonic being, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what type Sonic would be. <laughs> Poison type. Sure. All right. Because <laughs> he's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so, okay. So, oh, Joel actually looking for the angled down uh, F tilt with little two frame. But, uh, fair just gonna take it. All the Charizard's buttons, uh, you know. He's 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 made to kill. That's that's his job on the team, killing. Yeah, so, and surviving as well. But oh, right yeah. there, it's one of those things where at that percent, Sonic doesn't have that many kill options. But oh. that forward smashing landings would be one of yeah. them. Yeah. Wow, that was so much damage. 60%. <laughs> and I, I swear, it looks so easy. It looks so easy whenever, like, a really good PT. It is and it isn't. You know what I mean? Because there, the Sonic was not SDIing. You can SDI the Squirtle combos. Nice use of the Bullet Seed, stopping him right in his tracks. There we go. All right. And this is kind of the situation where we see PT struggle a little bit in terms of, you know, catching up, you know, having options out ledge, which they don't. Oh, nice yes. mash. Good mash, good mash. Oh, dude, I, I, lo I love it whenever Pokemon switch and then immediately use up B for all of them. 
I love it when yeah, Sarge all them can Squirtle do it. and Squirtle uses up, up B. B. It's huge. Squirtle Fusion B does a lot so of damage. Big. Ivysaur is really powerful off the ground. Oh, bruh. <gasps> He's gonna jump flare blitz. Yeah, he's gonna make that back every time. Good I stuff. Know, he angled it, or like he had just the right height so that he didn't to climb go on the ledge. stage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, flare blitz. Okay, no. I'm um, something which you see sometimes is Charizard's opting to flare blitz the spin dash, but that's a commitment to flare blitz. So, you know, maybe opt to play a little more safe here. Yeah, and it's like at this point. He, he can just play safe and get yeah, really you're so good comfortable damage. right now. There's four minutes on the clock. Not like Song's gonna time you off in this position. Uh, all you have to do is just get your get your uh, feet and tail on the stage, and uh, yeah, just abuse the fact that Sonic can't really kill. Nice, all right. good yeah, there. That was, good DI though. You actually saw the up smash come out, but actually maybe if he had gotten the reverse up smash, it would have. Uh -oh. But yep. 48 percent. We were talking uh -oh. 63. We this is what Sonic does. Nice. Good job not committing to try, actually try and punish that landing when, realistically, Kamex was safe. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Kamex brought this all the way back. No way. And that oh, that could have been lead. really bad. Yeah. I, oh, I'm thinking this Get off the platform, bro. What are you doing? Why are you trying to punish that? I don't agree with that at all. I'm sure the rest of Twitch chat and, you know, yourself would agree with me. It wasn't the play. Yeah, you were well, so comfortable. You were, you were such is in such a good position to not commit to anything. The only uh, the, the thing is that when you imagine the psychology of it, you're on that platform and you're like, it's so close. It's mm -hmm. right in front of me. Yes. Not only because you know, even if you know that smash attack, is essentially safe, dangling the carrot in the rabbit's exactly. face. <laughs> you're so close to the blast zone. You're so a grab at this percent also grab, would have done it. Yeah, I feel like that would have been. Yeah, he would have died for a grab as well. Yeah, um, exactly. Back throw, up throw, anything of that nature. But, um, but I guess uh, Kamex taking that by the skin of his teeth, man. I mean, shocking considering how he saw game one. And, and the thing is, I don't even think that though. was really by the skin of his teeth, just because of the fact that by the end he barely took any percent. You know? Yeah, he started doing the Sonic thing to him. Not, not too much. Uh, again, yeah. what are the glaring issues of PT? Like, not much they can do when they get hit. Yeah, I, the thing is, like, it wasn't a grind game, you know? And, like, oftentimes Sonic will win through the grind game. But yeah. that was not what that was. That was that all was the just I'm gonna press at you, bro. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we're seeing, a continuation of that. Kamex already at, able to do about 71%, oh, and bruh. he's dead. Oh, man, okay, never mind. Oof. Okay, okay, I'm actually going to drop some knowledge right quick. That's actually his fault he died there. Because if you just DI the Nair, Ivy Nair down, that won't be a true combo. DI down throw, downwards. Upbeat. Yeah, you DI down in a way, and, and that combo will never, ever work. Yeah, um, it's obviously counterintuitive, but at the same time, because it's a multi-hit, you have plenty of time to react. Oh, bro. He tried to kill my zero. You're nuts. All right. I like the risk reward there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Imagine he hit that and killed him at zero. That's a stock at zero. Oh! <laughs> what? Okay, those falling neutral airs have actually been really good for Kamex, which is landing into Charizard like that That's is super it. scary to All do. 2-2. Right. Two, two. Yeah, it really is. And Joel is committing to the flare, but it's a little too much, I want to say, a little too comfortable. Because Sonic, Sonic, if it hits his shield, is not hits his shield or not, it's always going to be able to get the punish because Sonic is the fastest character in the game. And granted, for the most part, PT is going to have to catch up. But Joel opting for the Squirtle. He knows that all he needs is, you know, to get his little mitts on him. He doesn't have to commit too hard to anything. Yeah, I actually like the idea of switching to Squirtle, switching off of Squirtle when he did. He sort of conditioned. This is one of the underappreciated parts about PT, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is being able to play a character and then switching, and your opponent not able to change the neutral that they have to exactly. be playing around in time. Because that was exactly when all of a sudden he dropped to the platform uh -huh. and up air and got the hit, which almost led to the kill. And to add on to that, too, if the PT player is aware of the fact that they can do that, they can abuse it. Like, let's be honest, Charizard, Squirtle, and Ivysaur are so very different. That was a great grab, by the way, too. Snatched him right out of the spin charge. Not letting him get away with anything, you know, for free. Back air. Oh, wow. Great timing on that. And oh, it ends up reversing bruh. Beast with a massive lead here, especially because the Charizard is on deck for him, meaning that we've seen the amount of damage he can do. Does he have enough gas in the tank for one more? Keep in mind that Kamex won a worse deficit than this last time around. Yeah. But, but Joel, he he understands now that he just has to stay center stage. He, we don't really see him straying away from that. Kamex, not really. I don't know. Uh-oh. 
He's looking for this forward smash, but I like the fact that Beast is playing around that, knowing that that's basically, for this stock at least, his win condition. I can't help but get scared, even if I'm just watching. Charizard, bro! Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, that's get the, called out, bro. <laughs> that's the sort of thing where if Beast was a worse player, I'd call it a misinput. But he definitely <laughs> no, was he waiting him for that. No, he him yo. Duh, like, just waiting on that. That was a spot dodge punish, I believe. He called him out for the most advanced technique in Ultimate, which is a spot dodge cancel. There it is. Spot dodge cancel. <laughs> <laughs> F-tilt spot dodge cancel, baby. Wow. Yeah, that's... That was just such a... That was such a beast thing to do. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually... That was the, is that the first game three we've... We've commentated maybe, so far. Maybe definitely not. Definitely not 